Sergey Kovalev has retained his WBO light heavyweight title in front of a boisterous home crowd in Chelyabinsk, Russia, with an 11th round knockout of English challenger Anthony Yard over the weekend. Yard came into the fight unbeaten, but was facing by far the most experienced fighter of his career. Despite being the underdog on his biggest ever stage in front of a loud and partisan crowd, the 28-year-old Londoner was keen to make the most of his chance. I like to do reality. My reality is fighting for world titles. One day, I want to fight in the Emirates Stadium in London. He might have taken some confidence from the weigh-in, where he looked huge compared to the 36-year-old Russian champ. But for the first seven rounds of the fight, Kovalev used his educated jab to take points from the challenger. Yard rallied in the eighth, coming agonizingly close to stopping the Russian. But Kovalev hung on to finish his now completely spent opponent with a heavy left in the 11th. The win opens up Kovalev to a host of interesting fights in the back half of the year, with the most valuable being a rumored big money showdown with boxing superstar Canelo Alvarez in November. Gennady Golovkin and Sergei Derevyanchenko officially announced their middleweight IBF title fight this week, with a press event at Madison Square Garden where the fight will take place. Facing Derevyanchenko for the belt, the IBF stripped from Canelo, Triple G was quick to highlight why Alvarez may have been hesitant to fight the Ukrainian contender. I have the best opponent, Sergei Derevyanchenko. I know him a long time ago. He's real, a real very good fighter. You know, just I understood my situation. This is not game. This is a real fight. I'm a little bit scared because he absolutely right. Because he looks good. He looks strong. He you know he feel his time right now. Maybe, maybe. This is boxing, nobody knows, guys. With only 14 pro fights, Derevyanchenko is still relatively unknown. His only loss was a split decision to Daniel Jacobs, the only opponent he has fought near Golovkin's quality. Golovkin takes a height and reach advantage into the bout, but is also closer to 40 than he would like. Despite the fight not happening until October 5th, both fighters were already pretty clear on what would be the deciding factors in the bout. We are different. His combinations are sometimes two-punch, sometimes three-punch combinations. That's it. I could do more, and if I can catch his combinations and counter, I'm going to find success. If he gives his style, bring his style, very difficult for me. If I show him my style, very difficult for him, the same, you know, just as who's first. In MMA, one championship has announced a ridiculous 22-fight lineup for one century in Tokyo in October, their 100th event. The card is so big, it will be split across two broadcasts and feature two separate main cards. The early portion, which will be broadcast live in the U.S. in a first for the company, is headlined by Angela Lee's defense of her Adam Weight title against Xiong Jing Nan. Also on the card are the finals of their Grand Prix, with Demetrius Johnson facing Danny Kingad at flyweight, and Eddie Alvarez meeting Saeed Gusen Arslanaliev at lightweight. The later card, available through the free One App Worldwide, features a light heavyweight title fight between dual division champ Ong La Unsung and heavyweight champ Brandon Vera, and the fourth bantamweight title fight between Bibiano Fernandez and Kevin Bellignon. It also features a flyweight Muay Thai title fight between Rod Tang Jip Wangnon and Walter Gonzalez, and the final of the Million Dollar Kickboxing Grand Prix between Giorgio Petrosian and Semi Sana. And Conor McGregor has sat down with ESPN MMA journalist Ariel Helwani in a 40-minute interview, his first public appearance since losing to Habib Nurmagomedov nearly a year ago. During the interview, the notorious one accepted full responsibility for his recent public scandals, including punching a man at a bar. He also stated that there is a very good chance he will be fighting again by the end of the year. At Bellator 225, Sergei Karatanov stopped Matt Mitrione in the headline, 
Endometrium seemed to have mouth guard issues. And late replacement Timothy Johnson got absolutely mauled by Vitaly Minikov before being knocked cold in the first. In the boxing, Juan Francisco Estrada and Kosei Tanaka both stopped their opponents to defend their titles, while Vic Saludar dropped a unanimous decision and the WBO strawweight title to Wilfredo Mendez. Thanks for watching, and remember, if you want more fight sports in your life, just hit the subscribe button.